All right, sell a wall, sell a wall. All right, I, this is I'm a one from the Lions Den Kepi Yashala. Coming at you guys for another spiritual hydration. Hope it's edifying to the Akim, to the Aquakim, to anyone out there listening. But before I get into it, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and the Son and the Holy Prophet. Two names. I want to call Halal Yulah, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Ha, Rakah Kadash Ma'ama. Right, the bonus to the apostles and the elders of DMS and say to the Akim, it's supposed to be true bonus of the earth, man. Right, so my spiritual hydration is going to be in relation in, in relation to how, uh, again, a horse is a bad thing for Satan. You know, I did a previous a lesson on it a couple of days ago, but I was just going to the top of the uh, a, a horse is a bad thing for Satan. So, trusting in, in his army, trusting in the Esau system. Trusting in anything that's other than other than your how about you shy, all right? You pretty much seek in damnation, all right? And you don't have a cover, right? You not you don't have a a rooftop. You don't have nothing to protect you. you know what I'm saying? So the first thing I'm gonna go into is uh Second Corinthians chapter five verse one, all right? It says for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of Yahweh. And house not made with hands, all right? Because Khan, according to Acts 7 and 48, it says, uh, how be it, the most high the will of not in temples made with hands. So we, if we know that, that the Lord's spirit, your how about you, shot spirit, does not the will in temples made with hands, all right? That should let you know that these churches are in, there's nothing, it's no place of safety, all right? Because it's not the spirit of the Lord, all right? So back at this the scripture, it says, well, we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were, were dissolved, we have a building of Yahweh, all right? And house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. So uh, according to Proverbs 18 and 10, it says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run up to it and it's safe, all right? So it's safety with Yahweh and Yahweh shot. There's no safety nowhere else, man, all right? So let me go to uh, Psalms chapter 33, verse 17. Back at the scripture, it says, A horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. So you cannot be delivered by anything, by any person except your house shot because your house shot is the ultimate deliverer, right? His name means deliverance, man. And he's coming back to the deliverer, all uh, right, 144,000 of the hope he elect. As well as one third of the nation of Israel, which includes men, women, and children. So, if you're on the righteous side of your how about you outside, and you're doing things that's pleasing unto him, he's gonna put a, co a covering over you and protect you in a time of trouble, man. So, knowing knowing this, that the Lord is gonna protect his people, do not go down to Egypt for help, like Isaiah 30, 31 and 1 says. It says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help, man. That's for two thirds of our people that's trusting in, in his system, that's trusting in Esau. It's trusting in everything else but the Lord, man. And that's why we in this predicament now, because our people want to be stiff-necked. They want to be rebellious. They want to do everything that's contrary to the Lord, man. But if we if we stay, if we if we keep ourselves, all right, rooted on that foundation, all right, and under the house of protection, which is of Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, we will be protected, man. All right. So with that being said, hope this lesson was edifying. And again, I want to say, call Halal Yulah. How about Hashem Yahushai? Right, Rakata Yahu, Rakata Yahushai. Right, follow out the righteousness and shalom. Whoa.